All right, it is April 2nd, and that means the month is divisible by the day right now. How about that? And while you're thinking about that, we're also hitting 90 degrees again on the book, on the record here in Phoenix. But I'm doing this one without air conditioning. We're going to see how long I can go to tell you about streams coming up without air conditioning. So let's not go. Yes, welcome to another episode of Every Show Joe Says Not Go, helping you find live stream music from artists around the Valley of the Sun, around the country, and the globe from the safety and comfort of your home. Thank you, Tony from Dumpster Hunt, for that theme you hear at the top every week. And of course, of course, if you're also watching us on YouTube, please be sure to like and subscribe. Hopefully you like it. Hopefully you subscribe. Uh, you get notifications when you do subscribe, so they get, when I post up videos, you'll get notified when they happen so that's kind of cool and yeah it helps me as those numbers go up i get access to new features like ad revenue because right now i don't get ad revenue but you can support me in another way that way uh you can go to patreon.com slash every shoujo and support me that way and also i got shirts for sale so you can always go to every shoujo.com and while you're checking out the cool pictures and stuff that i posted over there and lists of like stuff cool musicians i discovered in the last year that i think you should go check out you know that kind of stuff uh you can also click on the shop link purchase a shirt and that supports me too so either way if you can please do and thank you for any support you can give um also you might check out twitch.tv slash every show joe about monday or well, not monday wednesday friday saturday generally try to stream some video games and go check that out see what i'm playing chat with me ask questions that kind of stuff so really cool fun stuff um the other thing you might have mentioned is i did say not go uh for the time being i'm still gonna be promoting strictly streams the vaccinations are getting out there, and that's good. I even got my first shot, so. Uh, but still, we need to. I, I'm still. We need to be safe, and we need to be concerned of others. And watching something unfold in even a Facebook post in our punk scene. Uh, don't be an asshole. Don't fucking criticize people because they are going to require masks. That's fucking bullshit. It's more inclusive to allow masks. That way, people that do want to come out and feel that they might be at risk, have a better chance to go out there with less risk if everyone's wearing a mask. Um, but yeah, don't be a fucking asshole. Uh, yeah. But yeah, if you're going to make it out there, though, be sure to mask up. Be sure to wash your hands regularly, hand sanitize, that kind of stuff, and just stay safe. I know Yuck has got one. I know Wheelwright's going to be over at Rebel Lounge, seated. Uh, I think there's something else in, that's in the, in the house show there that I was kind of mentioning in passing here. So yeah, just be safe about it. Uh, but for the time being, I'm going to just be covering streams. Uh, we'll f I'll figure that out on a week-by-week -week basis where we are and where I feel comfortable informing and telling and encouraging people to uh, either go out or still be be safe. So, yeah. Um, of course, also, speaking of all this stuff that doesn't make any fucking sense, is fucking stop Asian hate. What the fuck? Why the fuck do we even, like, it doesn't... How do you even... Ugh, it is frustrating as fuck. Um, we shouldn't be discriminating. We shouldn't be fucking racist. We shouldn't be fucking considering these stupid fucking stereotypes or blaming all just on the color of our skin. We shouldn't be like, oh, what the fuck? Uh, but yeah, so all about that. Um, and with my Asian friends and my uh, Pacific Islander friends, like, oh. But yeah, so if you want to be proactive about it and try to just get this whole thing, yeah. Um, you can go to stopaapihate.org slash act now. They have ways to be proactive about it. They have a way to you can even donate and support that way. I know Asian Man Records, Mike Park put out a song that they're raising money in right now and it's Bandcamp Day, so you, you know, all of it will go there uh, to help support that stuff. But yeah, fuck racism, fuck Freaking, uh, yeah. Fuck police brutality, discriminating on. We should all be on a level playing field. There shouldn't be any weird wage discrimination. We shouldn't have cops being more aggressive or stereotyping. And it's all fucking bullshit. And on that similar note, black lives matter. Black trans lives matter. Trans lives matter. I mean, 
Trans Visibility Day was this week, and fucking be who you are. Be fucking proud of it. Don't uh, uh, be who you are. Fuck anyone who thinks otherwise. Um, of course, uh, as I always throw out there, if you want to donate to the Phoenix one of Black Lives Matter, uh, go to blmphxmetro.org and you can go donate and support that way. Also, of course, our Native Americans can use your help and aid as we are getting vaccinations out there, but still they were some of the hardest hit in this country. And you can go donate to them, firstnations.org, and they'll distribute across tribes across the country. So throw all that out there just if you want to support. <laughs> Why can't we just be <laughs> humans? Look at each other and we're humans. We're the same. We shouldn't have fucking systematic racism and fucking yeah all right <clears throat> on better notes <laughs> on less on more encouraging notes other ways to support and you're here for the music and yeah simplest way is just to go buy the merch go buy their Bandcamp stuff if you're still watching this there on Bandcamp friday uh no fees they're waived the artists get all of them that kind of stuff go buy their vinyl go buy their shirts go buy all that stuff that's the best way the most direct way to support your favorite musicians and artists while we're stuck inside, most of the country is in Arizona, because fuck Doug Ducey. Um, and yeah, that's the best way. You can go support them. Um, there's also, of course, NEVA, the National Internet Venue Association, and Save Our Stages. You can actually go to saveourstages.com, and should forward you there, and you can go donate to NEVA, and they'll disperse all the donations throughout the independent venues that are part of that. Uh, plus, supposedly, this month, they'll start finally getting some of the aid from the government stuff that passed couple months ago so or yeah anyways so hopefully yeah but there's that kind of stuff plus there's still some gofundmes and stuff so go check those out for like pub rock and stuff and help them and you can go you know do takeout there's food services and drink services a couple of our favorite places you know that includes yucca tap room you can get takeout you get a growler get it with some of that craft beer on that one side you know the i think it was the west side the craft room, the craft side is what I usually just call it. Uh, but yeah, like 30 some selection right there. Plus you can get food, awesome tacos there. And then speaking of tacos, we also got freaking Crescent Ballroom, who has also my favorite carne asada burrito. Come on now. Um, but yeah, they are open uh, Wednesday through Saturday. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday is 5.30 to 8.30. And then uh, Saturday. Friday and Saturday, there we go. Uh, they're open actually from 5.30 to 10.30 for takeout, patio dining, and delivery. So Go take advantage of that. Plus, the Rebel Lounge is now the Reap and Sew Coffee Bar. And so that means you can actually go there in the morning, get coffee, get drinks, and then come back in the evening and get more drinks, but more of the alcoholic type. Uh, they do run specials and stuff, so check out their social media promoting that kind of stuff. And go support that way. Fill your stomach a little bit. That kind of stuff. Um, also, throughout there, there's some awesome compilations. Which, first, also throughout Trunk Space, they are not a GoFundMe, but if you want to go donate, they're on mightycause.com slash organization slash the Trunk Space. So you can go donate directly just that way. Um, but also, there's compilations out there. There's a really cool one for the Trunk Space that was put together by the Coronado Related Records, Dark Hall Coffee, featuring some national artists that include actually Mike Park with Ogie Kubo Station. There's Jeff Rosenstock and Pothas, but then some awesome locals like Playboy Man Baby. Hi, my name is Ryan. Uh, yeah, Ryan. There we go. Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> Ancient Egypt, Roar, Red Tank, Dinosaur Love, Smooth Hands, all that kind of stuff. 40 tracks of awesome if you haven't already, and all that money goes to the Trunk Space to benefit. Plus, there's also the Yucca, has, and also the Trunk Space, if you want to find it, and no fees today. Uh, but also, yes, there's a Yucca one that was recorded when they were completely empty last year. Go to yuckataproom.bandcamp.com, that being Chip Hanna of TSOL, of One Man Army, United X Bombs, US Bombs, like, that's a fucking prestigious career already, right? Uh, we got Jason DeVore, Mike Sparrow of 40 is Zero, Still Drunk, Still Sore Eyes, Andy from Nito, Kristen from Mouse of Nowhere, uh, Critical Miss, Meatbag, like, awesome compilation you can go check out and that donates to them helps them out if you didn't already pick that up so throw those out there of course a few other things if you want to go donate there's the crew nation global, global relief fund there you go uh and that one's to the crews then the people that have applied and got in there so you can go donate to them and they're still dispersing throughout and then there's also the music cares coronavirus relief fund that's for the musicians which you can still email them and see if you might get some funding if you are a musician missing out on funds right now 
Uh, and then, yeah, you can go donate and I'll distribute to everyone that has applied there. So multiple ways to go support and help. Plus, there's also a show that I'm going to bring up here at the end tail end of this one because it's next Friday. Uh, that's going to also be benefiting Neva and raising money for our favorite venues and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, let's get right into it today. Friday the 2nd, all times are Arizona uh, Mountain Standard Time, not daylight late time. <laughs> I'm learning about time zones. Uh, but, yeah, so, like, tonight we got Matney Cook doing her album release show, part one, for Natural Time. That's going to be on Facebook, 7 p.m. You can go tune in, catch that awesome stuff. You got Wheelwright on his Switch regularly, 7 p.m. over on uh, Twitch. We also got Scott Kloffenstein over on his Twitch. As long as he's feeling well, he'll be there tonight. And that's always so good and so uplifting. And just he's such an awesome person. That right, tune in for those two hours. You'll usually more, and you'll enjoy it. Trust me. Uh, and then Saturday we got Bite Me Bambi. They're moving their Twitch stream over to that. I believe. Oh, I should have checked this, but I believe around the same time. So go check their social media for the exact. Because uh, well, it's Easter. How about that? Who knew? Uh, Time does not pass in here. We also got the Kepi show. And then the normal Saturday morning, wake up with some of the happiest music with the most awesome people in punk. Kepi Gooley performing. And actually, just keep an eye on his social media. Like, he performs pretty regularly. So you can always try and catch Kepi playing. And really, really awesome. But yeah, 9 a.m., you can wake up with Kepi Gooley on Saturday. Then Sunday, all I found was car to drive sessions. They're going to be doing a jam session for your Easter. So 7 p.m., of course, also. There's always GoPunkers up in KUPD, 7 p.m. to 9. And also now Scott Parade is like overlapping 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Because Arizona is now, yeah, we're even with Pacific right now. But yeah, you can keep busy. But also it's light. So if you want to relax and watch whatever's on the tube, that's cool to just be safe about it. And then Monday, we've got a case of the Mondays with Sydney Sprague uh, over on her Twitch starting at 6 p.m. This has been moved up an hour. Uh, we got AJJ on their stream still 7.30 p.m. as far as I can tell. Uh, last time I saw, they were still streaming on it. Uh, Scott Kloffenstein, his other weekly stream, 9 p.m. on his Twitch. Uh, plus, yeah, I don't know if Devin is taking any more. He took the week off. He might be taking more time off. But just in case there's a designer, Devin K, you know, direct hit of Devin K into Solutions, Tuesday night, 7 p.m. over on his Twitch. You also got Cooking with Snailmate. Watch them make delectable food, mouth-watering food, and be like, fuck. Wait, they just told me how to make it. I guess we can do that. Also, you can get them like to do like random facts stuff by like donating your bits. So really cool. Um, that sounded weird. But bits, money, currency for Twitch. There we go. There we go. We'll clarify before it gets weirder. <laughs> uh, and then Wednesday is the other time usually that you see Wheelwright streaming over on his Twitch, 7 p.m. And then Thursday, we've got, let's see, we got the Fest at Home. That is back. It looks like it is definitely weekly based on Tony and what he's been saying. So plan on that. Plus, they just made more awesome announcements of more Fest artists. So go check out those announcements that happened, I think, what, just yesterday. Uh, but yeah, or today? Maybe it's today. It was today. My time. Speaking of time blending together. But yeah, he mentioned Chris Gethard and Mikey Erg being on there next week. So tune in. Should be around 4 o'clock on their facebook and on the fest at home on twitch so go tune in and watch that chris murray's blue beat live stream over on facebook that starts at 5 p.m and yeah he just celebrated a year of doing these awesome streams so congrats on that and yeah it's at least so nice to have them to be able to tune in when i can and you should go check them out super awesome watching chris murray um we also got of course Devin k twitch is usually around 7 p.m on Thursday nights, and Snailmate, they, this time they play a video game while Bentley paints his face related to it. Some really cool stuff. They even posted a picture of, well, they usually, I think, post everyone. Huh? Yeah, so it does a really good job with the face painting. So go check that out. Go tune in. And then, yeah, <clears throat> Friday, next Friday. This is the one that I was teasing there. Consequence, Consequence of Sound, you might know them for. Uh, Consequence, as they're putting it, presents protect live music this is gonna be day one of day two it's friday and saturday uh, i don't know who's on what day yet i'm just gonna highlight some stuff but it's to benefit neva to benefit our favorite independent stages you can go there and donate while you're watching these awesome artists like pop is on there uh beach bunny amigo the devil john batiste portugal the man and like they're boasting over 70 artists on this thing so this should be awesome it's gonna be starting at 3 p.m our time here in arizona and it's going to run until 6 p.m. on Friday and then again on Saturday. So hopefully I should. Well, it'll probably have. I'll have an idea next week and I'll be able to tell you. 
but yeah, so you can go tune in on that. It looks like it'll be on the consequence uh, of sound like website. So go keep an eye on that. And then, yeah, the normal Friday, we got wheel, right? 7 PM on his Twitch and Scott Klopp inside there. 9 PM. You go tune in and have some fun. But yeah, those are some of the awesome stuff and awesome streams to go tune in while still trying to be safe here. Uh, of course it's still decentralized. So trying to find them all is pretty much impossible, but if there's something I missed or there's an artist that maybe is more your favorite than mine, and you're just like, I haven't been like craving watching whoever that is play. Well, go check out their social media. They're probably promoting it for one. So if they're going to be streaming anytime soon, they'll be promoting it, that kind of stuff. But also, I always just recommend it's the kind of go with the flow approach to this. If you open up Instagram, anyone that is live that you're following, they're going to just show up right at the front on your Instagram story. So right there, you can see if any of your favorite bands are on there. Uh, also, Facebook Live, Facebook Video, whatever. If you go there, it'll show you anyone you follow this live. And it'll try to give you... A okay suggestions on stuff that it might think you want to watch but you might tune in maybe you're you're curious maybe you'll find something cool uh and anyway like all of them will surface at youtube does uh even tiktok surfaces it. so that's kind of the organic way to find some stuff i mean there's always uh, chris fox there's dan Podhast, shannon blaylock from evening the score uh there's brian mogul doing stuff still on stream ross and reese like keep throwing it out there also always keep pimping playboy man baby social media like dude that is fucking killing it and it's super entertaining so definitely just watch their reels watch their watch your tiktok that's where they've been really blowing up but they've been sharing them over to instagram and, and stuff so you can always no matter where you're at just do a check out playboy man be just gonna always endorse uh but yeah so that's pretty much it hopefully you guys are staying safe and like i said even earlier make sure to mask up if you have to go out wash hands sanitize you can't get there anytime soon and yeah just be safe hopefully i'll see you in the chat for some of these and i'll see you next week take care